Hello! Welcome back to I Love. I am Podan! On today's episode, we've got some more Atari VCS games to play. Oh yeah! But first, we got some Atari news to check out. I found on At Games' website that they are now showing and selling the Atari Flashback 50th Anniversary consoles. That's right! You can find these for sale on Amazon.com. This includes the Standard Edition with 110 games and the Gold Edition with 130 games and the paddle controllers are included. So if you were looking for one of these, you can now get them from Amazon for the normal price. Not that inflated price from that weird English website that was selling them. I don't know what the deal was with that. But now we can get them and they are showing them on their website. So they are official. Oh yes. Next, we have a really cool thing that I found. This is called Atari Game Pool. This seems to be an investment website where they are looking to find new people to join them to help them produce or develop games based on Atari IPs. This is a really cool thing. I have noticed that there is speculation that this is some sort of a sign that Atari is not doing well or losing money. I think that this is the opposite, that this is actually them just branching out to find new partners that they could not find normally through their normal channels and just to get new Atari games made. This is my speculation because on the website you can also find notable companies such as Skybound Comics, which we know from The Walking Dead. They are also on this website looking for partners to help them grow their brands. So very cool. Check that out. Next, we have an interview with Ballistic Coffee Boy. This is available, and if you haven't seen it, go check that out. I was interviewed by Ballistic Coffee Boy. We talk Atari, games, toys, and the fun conspiracy that we are thinking of the Atari 50th flashback console, as it was only for sale in that strange website for a while, and they were not announcing it on their own website. Very weird. But doesn't matter because now it is available on Amazon and they show it on their website. Next, a very cool thing has happened. A new game has been announced. This is Skinny and Franco Fists of Violence. This is a side scrolling beat em up action game. This, I believe, will be the first side scrolling beat em up game on the VCS for us. This one is a sequel to a old Amiga game called Franco the Crazy Revenge. The cool thing about this game is that it has very cool like hand-drawn graphics, but very fun beat-em-up action and silly kind of fun humor. Let's take a look at the trailer for this now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gone for a long time. Yeah, it was long, brother. But it's time to clean the streets of shit. Yeah, yeah.
That one looks like a lot of fun. Reminds me of the action fun humor of the 16-bit generation Sega and Super Nintendo games. This will be a welcome addition to the VCS for us all. And I did a little research and found out that this game has been kind of in development for a long time, like the late 90s. So very cool to see a game like this coming out to everybody now. Awesome. I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out. I'll keep us updated. And of course, we'll play it when it comes. Now, let's get into the games that we have for today. We have three new games to play on our VCS. First of all, the long-awaited Akaara has come out. This is from Jeff Minter. It only costs $20, and you can get it on multiple platforms. So grab it up and check it out. This one is amazing with that fun vector-style graphics, just like the Tempest 2000 and 4000. Then we have Residual from Orange Pixel. This seems to be the most robust game that he has created for us yet. This one has narrative to it, a cool story it looks like, but it's an action-adventure game with crafting gathering elements as well. Very cool pixel graphics that he has had in the past. A very similar feel to his other games. Very, very cool. And then a simple but charming puzzle game. This one is called A Path to the Princess. This one is a lot of fun and gets harder as we get going through it. So let's get into these bad boys. We'll start with the puzzle game, A Path to the Princess. Let's do it. I believe the developer for this game is from Turkey. Very cool. Games can come from anybody nowadays with the wonders of the internet. The interweb. So let's check this one out. Okay, it looks like we even got a two player mode in this one. I played it a little bit and it gets harder and harder as you go. Let's start off right in the beginning. This one's pretty neat. I love how it's just got very simple graphics, but it challenges your mind. Games like that are always fun to play. Until you hit the wall, I like to call it, where you get to that point where your brain can't figure it out. Oh yeah. So here we go. So you can see we have a timer, and then we have to figure out how to get past the holes. Usually it's by gathering more balls and then sliding across, and there's your princess. Oh yeah, super cool. So obviously it's kind of like a fairy tale-esque type of story. We are the prince, and we must save the princess. Super cool. I always like games like this. There's some really neat ones. There was a neat one, Erroneous's Tale, that just came out on the Switch. We might have to take a look at that one soon, because it's also on the NES. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So there we can see they've added blocks that fall down, so once we go past there, we can't go back. That always makes it harder. Oh, yes. Super cool. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Can't go past that other one. We'd lose our ball, and then we wouldn't be able to make it. Oh, no. We don't want that. All right. Now it's getting complex. Okay. If we go past that one, we're going to get hurt. So we need to go all the way. And then back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how we do it. Puzzle Master. All right. Hmm. Let's go. Oh. And there I did it. If you go through the hole with only one ball, you will die. You got to have one ball. It's like he's like a a circus prince or something. He's got a balance on his ball like a seal. <clears throat> Let's try this one again. Okay, so we obviously need to go this way. Boom. Maybe like this. This, this, this. 
Booyah! <clears throat> All right. What do we have here? So yeah, we can play this for a bit, give you a little taste of how it plays, and then we'll check out Residual. Oh yes. And then get to the main event of Akaara. But I love games like this. Games like this are fun. Quick bursts of enjoyment. And of course it challenges your mind. And you can play it, beat it, gets hard. And this game, I believe... Yeah, it was only four bucks. So yeah, totally worth it. I believe that the uh, developer was in an interview and he stated that he was going to do updates for it to fix things and add more stuff to the game as well. So that's always welcome and cool. Okay, let's see here. This way. Like this. This, 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 this. Oh yes, look at that stack! Oh yeah! Gotta get through to the princess. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we want these balls probably. Get across. We need these balls. All the way. Boom! That's how we do it. Very cool, very cool. Okay. See, now I think this is... This is about getting there. Okay, so that flips the thing. Okay. There we go. So now we got flip switches. It's getting more complicated. <clears throat> flip switches. What do we got? Okay. Probably like this. If we hit that... That lets us go this way. Okay, I think this is probably where I'm going to die. Okay, we can cover that. Then we get more. God, what do you do next? If we hit that, it covers that. But we don't want to cover that. That's pointless. You can't stop there. You do that. How do you get yourself there? Oh, wait, no. I don't get it. There's the wall that I was talking about. There it is. Okay, see, there we go. See, now... Oh! Oh! Ooh! Wall defeated! Take that, you... You game! How dare you! Oh yes, that's awesome. So that was where I was stuck before, but now we just bashed right through it. Oh yes. Okay, get rid of that. This way, this way, this way. No, you've run out of balls. How dare you? So if you run out of balls, okay, you got to get around that way because you only get the one. Okay, like that, 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 that. There we go. Booyah. Booyah. That's how we do. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, we could play A Path to the Princess all night. But let's check out the other games. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Great job on that one, especially for only four bucks. We can always, always get more games like that. Those are fantastic. And yes, we are using the modern controller for the first two, but Akaara, we will be using the classic joystick. Oh, yes. Because that is how you play video games, right? Duh. Okay, residual. Let's do this. Orange Pixel has just been nailing it. I think this is fifth game i think it's the fifth game now he's added but yeah that's cool i love those those pixel paintings i guess we could call them that he puts in here very very cool it's very neat though like he's even got like a stylized texture i mean text texture text i mean here we go so let's do a new game so that way we can watch the opening sequence because like i said this game even has an opening cutscene. booyah You can call me by my superhero name, PDB. Ooh. 
Oh wait, does does it not show you the cutscene unless you? Hmm, maybe it only shows the cutscene the first time you play the game, actually. Cause yeah, there was a cutscene in this game. Let's see if I can exit it and delete my game, and we can see it. Cause there was totally a cutscene. Oh, look at this too. Yeah, the c procedurally generated. It definitely makes uh makes all new worlds every time you play. Okay, let's get rid of this too. Yeah, suck it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on. Show me the coolness. Crushing it. Huh. I guess it doesn't show it this time. All good. There is a cool trailer I'm going to add into here that shows some of that stuff. Yeah, basically you're inside this little ship and that's the first thing that you do same kind of graphics as his other games very pixely very cool let's see what we got here inspect the ship fix ships computers analyze the EDP 500 replicator grab a broken CPU okay I guess so I guess so okay what do we got here okay uh huh. I love seeing EDP apply those nanobots to Has like a Star Wars-y kind of feel with the talking She's bot. So That's smart. awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. A working computer. CPU. Grab working CPU. Collect resources or broken objectives to use with the EDP. Alright. Inventory. Why? There we go. Yeah, use it. That Place rusty it. ship's computer is operational and linked to your visor. Hmm, nice. Right trigger? Okay. Ooh. Alright, we get a map. Very cool. Oh, it shows you where the elements are that you can tech and grab. You can tech. I saw it on the screen. You can go and find and grab. Very cool. It's kind of got the, like the Terraria style level. A little side scrolly level that you can go backwards, forwards, and then dig down into. Very cool. I wonder if after you... Maybe the goal is to repair your ship and fly away to ultimately crash on another harder planet. That would be really cool. Keeps a little log, it looks like, down here of your journey. Personal di disaster bot at your service. You can call me my superhero name. PDB. Yep, and it tells you all the stuff you've done. Very cool. There's your stats. Awesome. Okay. What's next? No, we want to use this. What's this? Use it. Oop, wrong button. Okay, there we go. Very cool. The official intergalactic spaceship wreckage guidelines suggest that you find some basic resources for survival. Also, 
Did you not crash your ship? Huh. But I guess we ignored that one. D yes, we did. We have field teleporters. Place one here near the base, and one literally anywhere else. Okie dokie. He kind of has a Roger sound from a uh, from Lego Star Wars Freemaker Adventures. So that's cool. Okay, let's put down. The... Okay, cool. What is this? Ship debris. Okay, that's cool. After you analyze something, it allows you to just auto pick it up. What do we got? We got jumpage. Okay, menu and jumpage. Can we like run? Okay, there's some more debris over here. What's this stuff? Ooh, cactus. Let's grab that cactus. I like cactus. What's this? The fire will keep you warm and safe. If you'd like, we can toast some marshmallows over it and Ooh, sing songs. Ooh, fire. Craft knowledge gained. All right. Let's take the stick. I want the stick. Ooh, what's this? Is this ship debris? Ooh. So yeah, this definitely has like a terraria feel to it. You go we around and gather stuff. Lovely What's this? EDP to craft a portable mining device for this resource back at the ship. Mmm, neato. Oh, they looks like there's some creatures or something down here too. I bet I need to get some weapon action going on. See, I don't think I have any weapon. Do I? Nope, that brings up my visor. Get off your shoes, relax, have a nap in your comfy captain's chair to regain energy. <sighs> It's not like we're going anywhere anyway. What's this? Uh, metal shards. We can ask there. the lovely EDP to craft a portable mining device for this resource yeah. back at the ship. Memory card. Ooh. Ooze is now infecting and controlling various creatures, using them to spread faster. Oh, oh. Cool. Maybe some narrative going on there. Very, very neat. What do we got? Oh, yep. Gather the goodies. Gather it up. What's this thing? That looks like a big chunk of ship. An echo pillar. Can we repair it? We need to get rid of that gross ooze covering it. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see here. Do I have anything to make stuff back at my ship already? Yeah, you can climb up the walls, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Yeah, there we go. How do you do it again? I know there's a way to do it. Ah, you just gotta hold it, there we go. Okay, let's go in. Hey, I've been trying to learn an English accent. Listen, listen. Create your oh DP01, create metal DP01. Okay, so it looks like it wants me to use this. This. Can we craft it? Constructing delirium. What's this? Ooh, it puts it over there. Okay, neat. There's my little sleep pod. Let's make this. Okay. Use delirium. What do we use it for? Do we use it at this thing? Ooh, gain that health back, gain that health back. We need that energy. Yep, fall out of bed, we got shit to do. Okay, so what, what do we do here? Um, place to delete. Oh, this is the, this is the mine thing. That's what this is. No, we don't want that. What's this? Food? Oh, food tools. Ooh! Suit powered particle beams, scans life forms, high tech flask with liquid. Ooh! Metal mining device. Awesome! Oh, 
Oh, nice. Hit it with a rock until sparks fly off, and it'll catch fire. It could take a few tries, but it's not like you got anything better to do. Nice. I, lo I love the humor. The humor is always good. I must need fire to start it, actually, though. Let's see, so I need that mine thing. Where did it tell me to mine again? Was it over here? I think it was over here. I was like, hey, you suck. You need to mine with a mining thing. Ooh, vines. I'll take some vines. I like red vines. So let's see here. I think it's like this. Let's let's put this beast out. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it just mines. You can probably gather stuff from it eventually. That's awesome. Ooh, can I make it over there? What those My super are. advanced eyesight tells me there's something behind that bush. My infrared sensors agree. Oh, oh, okie dokie. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they're hurting me. They're like attacking me. Ew. We need to get rid of that gross ooze covering it. Huh. Metal. There we go. Time left. Oh yeah, see there you go. Nice. Well, that's cool. So yeah, you just sit there and it gives you medals. Awesome. That's pretty neat. So yeah, this is literally like a space ta ta terrarium type of game. That's that's super cool. I can only imagine that how far that you could take this game. I hope it's super lush with all kinds of goodies. Let's see here. What, what do we got here? Let's see what else. We got items. Vines. Yup. The metal shards. What do we got here? Yup. There we go. Crafting. Ooh, we can make ladders. Nice. Super cool. Let's see how far we can get. Let's see if we can find something to kill us. Oh, what's this? It's oil. Great for burning. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's oil right Weird. I wonder how I get that. What's that? Grab the stick. Sure, let's grab the stick. Let's grab the other stick. Oh, there's some creatures. Do they hurt you? No, I guess they don't. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Ooh, a big rock. Big rocks are good. Let's grab that big rock. Ooh, a magnetic rock. Ooh. Can you swim? Oh, nice. You can swim, you swim. Oh, nice, nice, nice. This is so cool. See, these are... This is cool. This also is reminding me of uh, Something Ate My Alien. Games like this are awesome, where you can just I'm kind of, uh... I'm thinking of changing my name to Robbie. I'll run a few more quantum cycles explore. on it and see if I like it. So it seems like, yeah, there's like a whole other world down below there that you can see, and that's, you know, part of the thing. I, I believe it says, you know, the surface is only like the beginning or something. Because once you start tunneling down, there's more stuff to find, and behold, that must be like your first kind of goal is to repair these things, and... Start digging into the planet. What happens if we go further this way? Can we get further this way? Let's see. Let us see. Ooh, all kinds of goodies. Yep, it just gives you stuff. You gotta love that. Come on. Come on. Yeah, what's it? What happens if we go this way? Let's just see. Oh yeah, see there's like an end of the level. So yeah, like each each planet has like a set boundary. That's pretty cool, because then it 
you know, at least you know your area. Sometimes games like this can be a little overwhelming because, you know, you don't know how far you can go. I mean, obviously we don't know how far down we can go, but left and right it isn't super outrageous, so that's cool. Gives you some boundaries, and, I, and like I said, maybe after you, you know, escape or whatever, you can continue to another world. Otherwise, you just start another game and you're on a whole other world. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. Orange Pixel, amazing game. That is a fantastic addition to the VCS. I love it. Very cool. Let's get to the main event. The main event. Some Akaara. Okay, we got that off. Let's turn this beast on. We need some classic joystick action. Okay, we are connected. We are connected. Go for classic gaming launch. Aka Ara. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a cool one. We've been waiting for this one for a bit, so that's neat. Yep, definitely got to give you the epilepsy warning for sure on these bad boys. Crazy. Super cool. Now, a pretty cool thing. Let's see here if I can remember how to get to that. There we go. So, there is a way to turn... See, you can have it like this. This is the way it's meant to be played, right? Where everything is all flashy. But you can turn that off so it's all just solid. Which some people might enjoy that more. Maybe it's too distracting to have all that flashing light. So we'll play it for a bit like the real way. And then we'll also play a game of it with the subdued graphics. Just so you can get a better uh, understanding of the, you know, the different ways it can look. This is super cool. I do know that there's a way <clears throat> to unlock being able to fly the Atari Fuji logo. And I don't think I've done it yet. But darn it, do I want to, because that would be awesome. The music is pretty cool in this too. I believe at first he wanted to make some uh, cool like ambient music, but then it became like uh, everything just kind of affects the music. So it becomes this like awesome, like growing thing. There is this cool interview with him. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. So if you're interested, we can definitely uh, you can definitely learn more. Super cool guy. Is that my high score? Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that, three million five hundred and seven thousand. Super cool. As above, so below. Level nine. Cool. So let's go to the very beginning. Let's start it. Let's go to the intro. So this game's pretty unique. And it's, uh, sort of seems like a tower defense sort of game. But then, you start shooting, and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, wait a minute. This has a missile command kind of feel because my bombs blow up and have that shockwave blast. Super cool. Come on, get him, get him, get him. And then the, the blast definitely chained to the next guys. And that's how you get more points, is you want to kill as many guys as possible from your chain and the successive chains linking to more guys. And it does explain to you, if you play the game, exactly everything that you need to do here. That's some good. That's some good chaining right there. Chain, 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 chain again. Chain again. Chain, chain, chain. Get him! Yeah! Take it, take it! Oh yeah! This game is lots and lots of fun. This one, uh, 20 bucks. Residual, it was 13. That's not too bad either. All these games are such a so good price, so well priced. This is definitely a classic joystick killer. Love it. I don't know why they didn't make it, uh, maybe the spin. I don't think, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, there's no spinny controls. Maybe that's something they could add. I think that this would be a game where it'd be really cool if you could spin and use the joystick. But maybe that's exactly why they don't have it, because then sometimes it gets a little confusing with your brain trying to spin and move around the stick. Oh, yeah. So this is cool, too. See, this reminds me right here of Tempest uh, 4000. When you beat a world, you know, you fly, like, through it to the next world. That's super cool. It's almost like cutscenes. Every level, the shockwaves have a different shape. Very cool. I think he says in that interview that the original game was a lot to do with uh, geometrical shapes. So he wanted to keep that alive. He also said he wanted to make this game not so harsh like a like an arcade game, which you can definitely see. You're not going to like just get killed automatically. I think you kind of have like a health system in here. So it takes a few hits to die. And it does look like there's a like a shield around your guy as well. So that's cool. That stuff is always welcome in games like this that are super fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. So many shockwaves. Stop the shockwaves. No, continue the shockwaves. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. They just keep coming. Just keep going. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How high can, how high can you get the score? Oh, yeah. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Long chains. More score. It's cool. It's definitely a, a score getter. See how far you can go. But then, of course, because it, it has. I love that. Splendid. Carry on. I think that's like the comical element he said that he likes to add to his games, which is. It's so funny to see that when you're playing a game like this. All of a sudden, there's like. Ooh, little banner text telling you you're doing a great job. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if you noticed it, but there is a uh, like a th almost like an isometric 3D look as I'm moving the cursor around. That's because we are at the top of a tower, fighting off the enemy, and eventually you can take the tube that you see below me down to the basement to fight enemies down there as well. Super cool, and it looks really neat when it happens. We will definitely get to that before we, uh, you know, go to the, uh, subdued graphics and play some more. Yeah. Oh, we got our bullets! Our bullets! So you get your, use your trigger. See, these are for different enemies. Some enemies don't get hit. Bye. See, so you're like that guy. You get hit by your bombs. That's a bomb that I shoot out. That's cool, too, because that brings it to, like, uh, you know, um, shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em ups, sometimes you have those. You shoot your, you know, your machine guns, but then there's also the ground blaster or bombs. So that's really neat. I mean, that's like genre blending. Arcade genre blending. Super cool. That's some ahead of its time kind of stuff. Super cool. Take that, take that shockwave. Okay. Blast them, blast them, blast them. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Yeah. Just smoke them. Just a crazy wave, crazy wave of death. Bring it, bring it. Who wants it? I am Akaara Tower Defender. Okay. Yeah, super cool. Okay. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yeah. More, 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 more. They want more. Yeah, you can't handle it. You can't handle it. You probably have to get so far in the game to unlock the Fuji logo. Yeah, another one beat. 
That's three worlds down already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we get to go downstairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong button. It's this button over here. We'll get there in a second. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. See that? You only get a little bit down there. When they're trying to steal your power down there, you can see it spinning around. Oh, now we got auto power! Gotta have power ups in these, you know, modern editions of all these arcade games. That's awesome. Here's another one. Oh, yes. The music is just insane, too. It just keeps going like nuts as you blow things up. Can I go back down? No, I can't go back down yet. To get further, you must be able to just go downstairs whenever you want to. Maybe it only lets you in when, when it needs you down there to protect your, uh, your power-ups down there. There we go, there we go. Oh no, you don't! Ooh, it tried to get me, but no. No, it can't. It can't get me. Not when I'm the master. Okay, here we go. Defend your turret from intrusion! Take it. You can't stop it. So yeah, the shapes of the levels keep changing as you get further. And you just keep killing it. You just keep killing, 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 killing. New enemies as you go. New challenges, new power-ups. More multiplayer, more power. More power. Give me that power-up, I want it. I got hit there. You saw that, right? I got nailed. See, but you, normal arcade game, I feel like I would have died immediately for that one hit. But there's like leniency in this game where you can take a few hits. I haven't figured out how to tell exactly how many hits you can take. But super cool that you're not just wiped with one hit. Awesomeness. Trickle, triple bogey. Bomb efficiency needs work. That's great. The game talks crap to you. It's like, you suck. Do better. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Let's try this out for a bit. Boom! Let's see how it looks with the subdued graphics. See, there you go. So if you thought it looked insane, you can do that, and it calms it down a bit. That way it's, a, it's more, uh, you know, stable for your eyes. Your icicles. Look at that. Look at that insanity. Look at that insanity. It just doesn't stop. Keeps going. Keeps going. Oh man. Chain reaction. You could have called this game Chain Reaction. There was a game called Chain Reaction. That's probably why they didn't call it Chain Reaction. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that go. Man. Look at that. Score per enemy 200. Restarted. Yeah, man, you just whew, just smash through that stuff. Turret defended bonus thirty-two thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight. I think we're at level five right now. Some areas of the level may not may have different symmetric symmetry. Size and speed. Oh, I see. That's right. You gotta blow your bomb off in the area to have it affect that area. See, this is where the challenge starts coming in now. Now they found a way to make it a little more 
difficult. Get those, get those, get those. Oh, yeah, we, got away. we can't let the enemies get away. What's happening? What's happening? Insane. Okay, so that's what the number is on my cursor there. That's my ammo for my bullets. Yeah. Yeah. Toast. Toast. It's okay. Sometimes the first enemy of the new formation will be blessed. Bring 100 or more unused bullets for Pod Restore. <sighs> pod Restore. 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 So what actually happens if you die? Let's find out what happens if you die. Oh wait though, if we're gonna die, we gotta have, you know, Crazy graphics. Let's watch us explode. Okay, let's see what happens. How hard is it to die? Bang! You get nailed. Come on, come get it. Come get it. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, it starts flashing. Intruders downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Yep, there we are. Your ship changes a little bit. This is cool. You just you gotta spin around and just blast. There you go, some more downstairs action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, kill me, kill me, kill me. I want to see what happens. Okay, yeah, so they destroy those little things around the bottom of your guy. And I think that's what actually destroys you. See them flying up now? There they go. They stole them. Yep. That's what it is. And if you have a chance when they fly up, you can shoot them and then you get your power back. That is a really cool, interesting thing. Because then you don't just die. You know, you, you can play and you actually have a chance to see your life or energy get taken and you can get it back. That's super cool. Super duper cool. Game over. Press A button to return to level. Details, uplift. Well done. Level best score jolly good restore pod restart pod increases during this game nullity nullity excellent six levels restart best parameters were improved i love all this stuff it's like it's like some old sci-fi science fiction spaceship board like yelling at you about stuff that's so awesome super duper cool game man so awesome i can't believe how many super cool arcade games that have been remastered in the last couple years now for the atari vcs and other platforms that is super awesome comment down below i would love to know are you loving aka ara have you got it yet do you enjoy jeff minter's unique art style that you see in Akaara, Tempest 2000, Tempest 4000, that vector graphics kind of look with the crazy colors too. Very, very 70s stellar stuff look, right, looking right there. Super duper cool. As always, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.